So this is uh, part two of finding all angles. These are now putting everything together. So we're going to be using trig identities and well, everything we've learned. So if you look at this, your first thought is maybe, oh, let's use a double angle. But if you ever see that sine, cosine, cosine, sine, that's a sum and difference. And since they're sharing, we know it's the sharer, which is sine. And since it's plus, we know it's plus. So this would be 2x plus x equals a half. So this is really just sine of 3x equals a half. So on some of these, you have to modify them. It's, it's very similar to what we just did up here with cosine of 3x. So now we're going to look at our unit circle. And again, we're just focusing on when does sine equal a half. So it equals a half at pi over 6, and it also equals a half at 5 pi over 6. So we now write 3x equals pi over 6, and 3x, let's put a little bit more space in there, 3x equals 5 pi over 6. And now this would be it if it was just 0 to 2 pi, but we are doing all of them. So it's pi over 6 plus 2 pi, and 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi. So we need all of them, plus 2 pi k, plus 2 pi k. And since there's a 3, again, we divide everything by 3. So it cancels. So we have x equals pi over 18 plus 2 pi over 3k. And x equals 5 pi over 18 plus 2 pi over 3k. And now I recommend plugging one of these in your calculator, just one solution at least, because we know if it's pi over 6, 5 pi over 6 would work. So plug it in to verify it. So sine of 2 so would be pi over 9. And then that's cosine of just x, that's our equation. Sine of 2x, cosine x, cosine 2x, sine x. And then our calculator says it's a half. Our equation is supposed to be a half, so we know we're good. Okay, so let's try another one. This one is now one of our quadratics. So we only have one square. And if you want, you can say a equals sine of 4x. But I think this one is simplest enough if we just rewrite it like that. And so all we need to do is square root both sides, put the little plus or minus, and we end up with sine of 4x equals plus or minus 1. So we have our sine of 4x equals negative 1, and our sine of 4x equals 1. So again, we look at our unit circle to verify when does sine equal negative 1. Sine is the y. So right here at 3 pi over 2 and sine equals positive 1 at pi over 2. So again, that's that situation where we had before. So sine here is negative 1 and 1 here and here. So we can just say now pi over 2 plus pi k as we move around. So every pi over 2, we're going to get 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1 every pi. Now, yeah, you can write pi over 2 plus 2 pi k, and 3 pi over 2 plus 2 pi k, but we're going to do pi over 2 plus pi k. So we can actually put these together into pi over 2 plus pi k. So every half rotation, so let's look at that again. It's pi over 2 plus pi plus pi plus pi. So it would be 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1. That's what we're asking. So it moves along. And then we write our 4x. Divide by 4. And we get x equals pi over 8 plus pi over 4k. And so just to get an idea of what I was talking about here, this would be pi over 8 for our first one. If we add pi over 4, a k equals 1, pi over 4, that would be pi over 8 plus pi over 4, times 2 times 2, see it's 3, 3 pi over 8. And so every pi over 4 is just going to add 2 pi over 8. 8 to each one. That's what we're doing. So this would just become 5 pi over 8, 7 pi over 8, so on and so on. And it works the other way. So we would have negative pi over 8, negative 3 pi over 8, and so on, because pi over 8, take away 2 pi over 8 so would be negative pi over 8, and so on. That's all of them. And that's what we're getting, each one. So as we move along, this would be pi over 8 now, plus a pi over 4, plus a pi over 4, or minus a pi over 4, minus a pi over 4. And so we would get this situation going on. 
Okay, so the next ones are going to be a little bit different. This is a typo here. This should also be a 2x. There are ones that you can use double link for, but I want this to work the way it is. So now if we say a equals sine of 2x, we would then have a squared minus 4a minus 1 equals 0. And this is not factorable. So what do you do? This is when we get to use quadratic formula. So you'll say a equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, and then we plug in. So again, our a here is 1, or b is negative 4. And again, the a is 1, c is negative 1, over 2a. And always double check, if you made these wrong, plug these in wrong, then it's wrong. So we got to make sure we have this, everything is going well here. So we have our b is negative 4, perfect. Our a is 1, perfect. And then our c is the last one, which is negative 1. All right, remember we work on the radical first. So square root, and then that would be 16 plus 4, which is 20. And so that's 2 square root of 5. And then we plug it in. So it's 4 plus or minus 2 square root of 5 all over 2. And this is 2 plus or minus radical 5. Okay, so now this is what our a equals. So what this means is that our a, which is our sine of 2x, our sine of 2x is equal to 2 plus square root of 5. And our sine of 2x is equal to 2 minus square root of 5. Well, this one we already know is not going to work, but we're going to use it anyways. So if we write this, now our 2x is equal to the inverse sine of 2 plus square root of 5, and our 2x is equal to the inverse sine of 2 minus square root of 5. So if we plug those in our calculator, here's what we get. And I've changed it to degrees, so I put my mode into degrees to make it a little bit uh, easier, hopefully, for you to understand it. So we get error, obviously, because this is greater than 1. So right now, r2 plus square root of 5 is greater than 1, and we know our sine can never equal anything bigger than negative 1. So you already know you can do this, put a line through it. That's not a possible solution. So all we have to do is worry about this little guy over here. And that gave us a negative 13.65 degrees. Why don't we do, uh, yeah, 65 degrees sounds good. So our 2x equals negative 13.65 degrees. Now, if you remember, that would be here. And sine is negative here and here. There's two answers. So remember, if we were to plug 11 pi over 6 into sine, we get negative 1 half. Well, 7 pi over 6 gives us the same value. So what we want to do first is change this from a negative to a positive. So if we add 360, we get 2x equals 2. So we can just take this guy right here, add 360, and if we were using radians, we would put plus 2 pi to give us. So it's really 346.34. The only reason is I want to have everything in that 0 to 2 pi range at 0 to 360. So what was that again? It was 346.35. So 346.35. But if you remember, this is still only one answer. So we also are going to have a 2x equals to another angle. So if you remember with sine and inverses, the negative for the sine is only going to give us this one. We also need that one because for sine, sine is negative here and sine is negative here. So that right there was a 13.65. So we just have to take 180 and add 13.65, which would be 193.65. Okay. Now this also is going to remove, go around 360 k to each one. So we also have to add 360 k to each one. This is the most complicated. Yes, it's confusing, but you have to sit there and think about it and just be patient. But now if we divide everything by 2, we would get 346.35 divided by 2 and 360 divided by 2. So you just come in here and hit divide by 2. And it says 173.17. 173.17 degrees plus 180k now because remember it's twice as fast and then over here our other answer is 193.65 193.65 193 
divided by 2 is 96.8283, 96.83 plus 180K. Now, obviously, these are not nice right now. And so after you do all this work, you really want to check it. And, and everything looks good. So if, if you've done all of this, you know if we made a mistake, it's computational. So we just have to go back and fix it. So let's plug in the calculator and check it. Okay, so checking the 173.17, we get this. This is a, a round off error for zero. So what you can do sometimes when you see that and you're not really that great with scientific is you can just come in here and go, okay, well, it's going to be this take away one. So as long as this is one, we're good. So basically remove the minus one and you see it becomes a one. So one take away one would be zero. And then checking the 96.83, we also get one. You can also plug it into Desmos. Here's our equation. Remember, we want this to be y equals 0. We did this earlier to find all solutions. And there they are. So our first one was 96. Okay, 96.83. The next one was 173. Right there. And if you notice, they are pi away. So 360, 180 degrees away. So if you take this one, right and you add 180 we get at 276 and then if you take this one the 173 and we add 180 we get 353 and so on so it, it checks our solution for us whatever we have and then you can even do your radians here so if we switch this back to radians it looks like that because we're at 360 so we just have to change this to 2 pi and then change this one back to 0 and there we go. And so our first one would have actually been in radians, 1.69. It's the same thing. And then pi away, because we had divided by 2. So this would have been 2 pi. And then now it would be pi k. So those are our answers as well. So 169, and then that one as well. And you'd be looking at the unit circle. So we would have used this in radians and that in radians. And an easy quick way is you could even just do the whole thing in degrees and then just convert these to radians with our radian formula. Remember, it's just pi over 180. So if you multiply that by pi over 180 and that by pi over 180, so we take this guy right here. We'll just do the, the, the first one. All right, and we go times second pi divided by 180. We get 1.68. 1.69, round it off, yep, 1.69, round it off, 1.69, round it off. So just do a quick conversion, and that would work as well. All right, so I need to make sure you're good at this, and so this is your turn now. Obviously, the answer is going to show up afterwards, but you're going to try this next one. I've got a little hint there for you to do. So hit pause now and give it a shot. And so there are the answers. And so you should have checked it with your calculator or with Desmos to make sure that the square root of 3, to see that it's pi over 6 and pi over 3, two answers that we got. And that it will repeat every pi away. So pi over 6 plus pi is 7 pi over 6, and pi over 3 plus pi is 4 pi over 3. So it works perfectly. Again, check your answers every single time you do these. Right, thank you.